be working in my sketchbook today. Um, I just got this new sketchbook and I liked it because I like the color. I'm into pastels right now, apparently. Um, if you don't have a sketchbook, but maybe you have a small piece of paper or a large piece of paper, um, we're gonna start off um, using both. So I'm gonna show examples of both and how we're going to use our papers today. We're gonna make four quadrants or four rectangles and we know we can do that by folding. So if you are using paper, we're gonna fold it once going one way. I call this the hamburger fold. And then I'm going to go the other way. And this, does anyone know? Hot dog fold. So I've got my one, two, three, four quadrants. You guys are ready to go. My next group, let's put this aside. If you are in a sketchbook, you are going to fold your paper. You can see my lines already. You're gonna fold your paper. I don't do it all the way to the crease um, because I never really draw in this area. Um, so I folded it kind of right about there, almost to that pink line, if you have one of these. And then when I unfold it, I have um, a fold there. And all I did was I drew a line here and I drew a line here to make it look like our four quadrants, okay? So for today, our warm up, I want you to design your name. And I want you to use lines, shapes, patterns, maybe some imagery that represents you as a person. So I'm going to pause and I'm gonna do my drawing while you're doing your drawing, okay? So my name is actually Jess. So I'm gonna draw my name out. And I really like clouds. That shape just makes me think of being reflective. And I am a reflective person. I like to think and I like to meditate. And I love circles. If I've ever showed you my art, a lot of um, circles and kind of the pattern of a circle is in my work. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna make some up here. So I've got a curved, kind of bumpy shape making a cloud. I've got my circle shapes. I think I need some lines. So I always like to do my font. Now a font is the way that you design your name or the way that you see words designed, like Pepsi has a font to it, Coca-Cola has a different font, it's more swirly and cursive-like. And I always like to do kind of my bubble letters with a shadow that has these little lines in it, because then you can go in and you can even fill those in so they look like a checkered kind of pattern. So I'm gonna do that, and there's some of my lines there curl it up and maybe I want to do like more curve lines now is yours gonna look like mine no because we're two different people so I am doing mine and I want you to design yours however you like but we're gonna make at the same time Ooh, that's fun So think about kind of what imagery can represent you. Maybe if you like to read books, maybe you don't know how to buy, draw a book and you could just draw some squares. That could represent a book. That makes me think of paper. Uh, if you are into sports, you could draw whatever things you use in those sports. So if you're into hockey, you could draw a hockey puck. So that is an easy squished oval. The two sides come down and then you curve it. Now you got a hockey puck. Um, basketballs and baseballs, those are pretty easy. Soccer balls are always the challenging one for me. I did play soccer as a kid because those squares, they're not really squares, but 
they always I always have trouble figuring out how to make that pattern so my sucker always turns out like that and then I kind of color them in so I did play soccer as a kid so that one does fit um, let's say you mess up so let's say oh man I drew this this hockey puck and I don't want my hockey puck there what could I make that into well I do like to make plants and grow plants so I could make that into a pot oh look at that okay you can always make mistakes into something great it's super easy all right so once you have your image going and you like it you're gonna leave it we're gonna go to the next drawing prompt my next drawing prompt is I want you to draw your favorite person so for this you have to think hmm is it a friend is it a family member is it someone that you like totally idolize and adore and you think they're just the coolest person in the world even if you haven't even met them so is it someone that you know someone that you don't know um, I want you to draw your favorite person it's okay I won't tell anybody so if you start out you can always start out with your oval my chin is down there so it's always a little bigger at the top and I'm gonna draw my dad so oval and I'm gonna draw his neck two lines going down and then I like to do this C flipped over it's like the C just went and fell over if you do that it makes it into his collar of his shirt and then a line and a line uh, he needs some ears so his ears and his ears hmm, who's your favorite person I can't wait to see these drawings oh and we should probably label our favorite person so we know um, so mine is my dad um, and he's got glasses. Ooh, those look like angry eyes. I gotta fix that. He's got like these glasses. He does look angry, <laughs> which is funny because if you've ever met my dad, he's a pretty funny dude. It's kind of where I get my sense of humor from. He's a bit of a goofball. I'm gonna do that one, and I'm gonna do this. Oh, he looks so angry. How do I make him look? Maybe I just darken his glasses. Oh, see? Just darken the glasses. It's okay. He's wearing his sunglasses. And I'm going to make him have a big smile. He's going to be like laughing. Ha 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 ha. He's pretty funny. He's got like kind of crazy hair. Now notice I'm doing this with pen. Um, if you're drawing with pencil, you can erase. That line's gonna stay there because I can't erase it, it's okay. Um, and this is my dad. And I wanna um, draw something that makes me, or makes you understand why I he's my favorite person. We always have like really good talks on the phone, so that's him talking. And, and we like to laugh. So I'm gonna write ha ha ha. And he's just kind of goofy and I, I definitely um, like his sense of humor he's kind of a wild man so you've got your name I'm gonna give you some more time to um, draw out your favorite person and you're gonna label it I labeled mine it's my dad and then if you want and you're still working on these two you're going to um, pause the video so that you can finish your drawing and I'll come back with another video on these two in a moment 